Welcome to my notes Oracle DBA YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about backup and restoration in Jenkins. First of all, we need to understand what is a Jenkins administration. As with any server, any application running on any server, that server needs to be administrated. We need to consider backing up that server and backing up specific files and folders that are necessary for Jenkins run. Let us assume, for example, we had uh, some critical files. Those files we are taking as a backup. If that particular backup we are unable to restore at any critical situation, or any failure, we have to restore that particular file. If the backup is not able to restore, then that backup strategy is a failure method. Multiple ways to take the backup of data in any emergency situation, we are unable to restore the data from our backup, then our backup strategy is failure. Also, in the administration, actually, we are uh, going to cover as of now backup and restoration. And restoration, when we are discussing about backup and restoration in Jenkins, it is pretty much similar. We can do a full backup, snapshot backup, and incremental backup. All those different types of backup styles are available in Jenkins. Even though applications are running in the system, still we need to take a backup. So, we add a like a question which files we need to take a backup in the Jenkins. Like if it is possible we can take a backup of everything but it probably going to lose 90% of your workload. In order to take a, everything as a backup we can primarily take the backup of Jenkins underscore home directory. Home directory contains of two uh, subdirectories. One is called configuration files. Another one is like a job uh, directory configurations file directory contains of all the current configuration of jenkins format so we have to take this particular file as as well as we need to take the jobs directory because all our current jenkins project stored under this job directory only so uh, if we are not taking this particular directory as a backup, so we may lose that particular jobs backups in Jenkins. The first thing is file system snapshot. Second one is plugins for backup. And third one is like a uh, cell script to through the cell script. We can custom that uh, script it depends upon our requirement. We can take the backup. So, what are the uh, advantages and disadvantages of these three types of backups? So, file system level backup, these snapshots are not real backups. So, we don't use these for a longer term solutions. Maybe it's good for daily instead of incremental routes, which begins for backup. When we have a different types of plugins and different features are there, so, to take that uh, backup in Jenkins, it's very easy as well. And writing a script, that backups are Jenkins instance, backing up using the cell script. Uh, also, I have provided in my like a medium block. You can just have a look. Right now, we are going to see as a demo of that plugins only. So, I have for the testing purpose, I have created one particular job. This job name is called a demo. And... Uh, this is like a cd slash bad lip Jenkins. So, as I mentioned, like uh, if you are going under the Jenkins home directory, you can see that there are two files. One is like a configuration.xml. So, this file, I am just doing a cat. You can see that all, all the configuration has been maintained under the XML file. The next thing is 
you can just go back to cd jobs so if you are going this is the cd jobs just have a look so this demo one is our whatever the project or jobs we have created on that jenkins dashboard those has been copied under this jobs demo directory if you want you can just have a look demo one so this is the two major files when we are going to take a backup this uh, jenkins underscore own directory is pretty much important it, uh, uh, install the plugin so i will just show that plugin so if you just go back here and type that backup there are plenty of plugins are available so in our demo actually we are uh, just going to verify that thin backup only so you can just say yes, backup. so this one is like uh, right now i have installed for that uh, uh, for that demo purpose jenkins so after the installation if you are going go back here so it will show these options of backup restore and settings so whenever we are going to do that backup it is pretty much important you have to create a directory and the directory path you have to provide here and this directory have that full access to copy that uh, backups now i will just create another directory kdir You can just copy this location so that you can just update here. So once you have updated, in case this particular directory doesn't have that uh, full privilege, it will show like it's uh, not uh, writable. So that error will be occurred. Now I have saved that particular thing. Now if you have initiated a backup, that backup is successful and you can verify that in this particular directory. See our backup is there. Now what I will do, I will just go to the settings and that one and like uh, that build options. Now what I will do, I will just select all these options. So I just copied everything. Now I will take a one more backup. So we can just have a look. Obviously we had only one file. Right now I have chosen all this option. Now it has been show what is the date and uh, timings. Everything has been like a, it has been created the file. Backup. So you can just do that ls. So current timing is just the date. am three minutes that's why our backup also which contains the same date and hours and minutes now we had a three backups right when we are going to do the restore it is pretty much simple as well you can just go back here and you can select whatever the full backup they have created right those backup details has been shown here so if you want you can just select that particular file and even if you want like uh, when it was like for example any critical situation if job has been deleted or like uh, you want to do something happens on your ser server itself like you have copied it somewhere then you can directly go and you can choose this option and you can just click that button and you can just do the restore